Hey everybody, it's TT from TT Fix My Hair. I did a CVS run today and I don't know why I'm so intimidated by CVS. And, and two, let me say, um, I watch the gurus. Greg That Dude, Shandatina, HQ Honey, different ones I know I'm missing, but um, Florida, oh I can't remember. But there's, you know, several, and we get on Tiny Chat, and we watch each other's videos. Um, I think they probably watch mine to laugh, but I'm just getting into it. You know, I've been doing it a couple months, and there's a learning curve. And I'm not trying to do videos to be competing or, you know, trying to keep up with the gurus. Kind of my thing is, if I can do it, anybody can do it. And I also want to share my mistakes so that you can learn from them instead of make the same ones. And I'm also uh, just want to become a part of the couponing community. This is, um, you know, it's become a, a way of life with us, a way of having things that we wouldn't normally be able to, or having a higher quality things that we wouldn't be able to. So. I'm just, you know, I'm open that if you can learn something from me, great. If uh, you have some helpful hints for me, I'm more than willing to hear them. But um, I just want to share what I did. And I started, I had that $5 coupon that if you bought $10 worth of product that were GlaxoSmithKline, you could uh, use the $5 coupon. So since the Aquafresh and the Pro Enamel Synthodyne was in that, it was also on sale for buy one get one half and I had the other coupons to match up with it so I got the uh, one Synthodyne Pro Enamel for $5.79 which made the second one $2.89 and then I had a one dollar coupon off of each and then the kids bubble mint uh, aqua fresh was $2.49 which made the half price one $1.24 and I also had a dollar coupon off of each one of those. One was the Aquafresh coupon and one was the Redbox coupon that said one dollar off of any toothpaste. So after I gave the dollar coupon for each product and the five GlaxoSmithKline five dollar uh, coupon, that made this uh, come up to three dollars and forty one cents and then taxes. Uh, I don't think there was any rewards, uh, you know, connected to that. And then I just went and got one of the U by Kotex um, that specifically stated one, you know, per household, which we've got two cards. I have one, my husband has one, so we use both cards. So the first one, I just bought it. It was $3.99, had a $2 rebate, and I'm sorry, a $3 ECB. And I had a $2 coupon, so this was one cent. Um, and then I had the $3 coupon that I got back, or the ECB. So I took that and rolled it into this purchase, which um, was the three Mitchums, which were on sale for $1.99, and I had a $1 coupon on each one. And then the big Soleil Bella, uh, four blade, there's three of them. It was on uh, for $6.99 and I had, um, let's say I had a $3 coupon. And so that made this particular transaction uh, $6.96. And I think I kind of forgot to do something with that one, I wasn't sure. But I got the $3 register reward, I'm sorry, ECB from that and rolled it back into this, which was uh, the another of the U by Kotex. And this is the heavy uh, 16 count. And the Scott was on sale. This is six pack of paper towels. They were on sale for $5.49. And this again was $3.99 with a $3 ECB. I had a 50 cent coupon on this, a $2 coupon on this, which made my subtotal $4.98. All right, and then I took the register or the ECB from this and took and rolled it into this. And so that one I only had two Mitchums because I only had the five coupons, so I had to use what I had. So again, $1.99 for each, 
and then the Bix were six ninety nine. Add the three dollar coupon on the Bix, the three dollar register reward from the U Cotex, and then a dollar each on the Mitchums, which made this subtotal be two ninety seven. So for everything you see, I spent eighteen dollars and thirty three cents, and I got back. I still have a three dollar register reward, and I'm two dollars from meeting that. Oh, what is it? Maybe it's the beauty. I'm not sure, but it's um, if you spend fifteen dollars, you get a five dollar reward back. I'm two dollars off of it, so I think what I'm gonna do is go back and get something and. Uh, you know, it's in that price range and use my three dollars. That'll get me my five dollars. You know, it's kind of going to keep it going. So, because I like to have one little thing, even if it's just a dollar ECB or if it's Walgreens register reward, if I just have one dollar or two dollars or three dollars, you know, to go in the store and have something besides my cash to get started with, um, I like to do that. I know some people say don't leave the store with them, but I live a block from a Walgreens and maybe five blocks from a CVS, and they're, we're just covered over with them. So I know I'm going to get back in there and use them. And uh, I might, you know, I hadn't lost one yet, so that's just the way I kind of like to do it. But again, I'm learning. Um, I think that. You know, it takes some time watching the gurus because a lot of times they're helping each other. They're helping all of us. But because they've done it so long, the language and the lingo that they use, you have to get used to it. And you have they talk fast because they're trying to not, you know, take a long time. You don't want to have a too long video, and I understand that. But with me, I had to watch some things so many times or watch so many different people before I could, you know, really pick up on it. Um, some people just have a natural knack for it and some people it takes a little more learning and in this it I get so nervous I don't know I hear other people talk about it but you know sometimes especially like one that came up to 13 cents it was like God you know that's so good but on the other hand you're thinking okay is the next one going to go right am I doing it right and I want to tell you I did make a mistake yesterday or the day before I went to CBS and the sentence sprays uh, everybody knows the deal they're uh, after all said and done, they're like a dollar ninety-nine, and I made the, I have made this mistake twice. I set I was buying two, and I set both of them up there and paid for them at the same time. I only got one three-dollar register reward. Where if I'd have bought one, got my three dollars back, I couldn't have rolled it into that, but I could have you know done something, or maybe I could have. I don't know, but I would have should have gotten two three-dollars uh, register rewards. If you're doing multiples of the same, it's only probably going to kick out unless there's a mistake. It's only going to kick out for one of them. So, you know, that's that's where I'm at with it. I'm not trying to be anything I'm not. I'm just trying to help other people that are real new learn. Maybe I'm a little slower in talking. Maybe I repeat myself a couple of times that might help somebody. I don't know. But I'm TT from TT Fix My Hair. Sub us to keep up with us. Thanks for watching.